Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so we're going to continue off from where we left off with The Walking Dead. Um, I figured out that the character that we're seeing that's new, I want to say his name is Mark. Um, even though we didn't see him in the prior game, he's like a part of the pack now. Even though I'm not too sure like how he became part of the pack. Hold on, let me just fix my... Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I'm not too sure how he became part of the pack, but apparently he's part of the pack now. So we're just going to just pick up from where we left off since there isn't anything wrong with it. So yeah, let's just get started. I really thought like, I was like, wait a second. He definitely wasn't in the other episode. So I don't even know where he came from. <laughs> But, all good, all good. So we watched it, or we played a bit of this in the beginning. Um, I didn't think that I was gonna save here. I thought I was gonna save in a different spot. But basically, we'll make all the same decisions that we made before. Um, but where we left off last time was that they find out that um, he's bringing some... The two people that we found in the woods back to our camp. And uh, they're upset because she... Uh, what's his name? Kenny's blaming her for becoming a leader, quote-unquote. But, I mean, if she's doing leaderish duties, I don't see the problem, but... Um... Get the gates open! We've got wounded! We have to figure out how to Shit. ration the food. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! God. But yeah, you remember we cut off his leg because the zombies were coming and his leg got trapped in explain. the bear claw and everything okay? like that, Get him into so. the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! One second. What the hell? you can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good this idea. One. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. We picked that decision last time. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? He's so annoying. <laughs> he is so annoying. I find him to be so annoying, man. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good, good luck. He 
Yeah. Okay, so now we're at the part where we're going to ration the food. Last time, I think I picked, like, he was going to die if we left him there. So this, that decision was different, but it's still the same decision in essence. Like, we basically picking that, like, we're saving someone else's life instead of leaving the person to die. So, but we still stay neutral in the, in the other one. So I have to figure out how to ration it. Uh, it's like, what? Some, a jerky, crackers, apples. Okay, so... Um, for the most part, I want to give the food to, I want to give the food to the kids because they need it more. How you doing, Grimitar? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. So, I'm going to take care of Clementine because that is my girl and I cannot leave her hanging. Like, she needs Here, food. Clem, you need something to eat. I'm going to give her the crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we not get them food? So, yeah, we gave uh, Clem some food. He can survive. I'm pretty sure he's fine. I'm not giving him any. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that was in the woods before, so I feel like you did, you're you good. Um, I feel like Kenny's probably fine. So I'm going to give Duck... Uh, I think I'm going to give him some jerky. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Um, let me see. Maybe I'll give Duck a piece of jerky... Actually, I feel like kids should have crackers and cheese. It's just better. Here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's fine. They're surviving. Um, let me see. Who's over here? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Damn, my guy. You're getting weak. I really don't want to give Mark anything because I feel like he's such a dick. But, I mean, wait, hold on. Not, yeah. No. Who is this? Wait, who is this? Okay, Larry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant to say Larry is such a dick. <laughs> Not Mark. Mark is cool. We're rocking with Mark. But, um, I think I, he said he's getting a little weak, so. Here, eat something. I'm gonna give him a piece of jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. It's going to Mark, Mark, bro. Why nice. would I give it to you, Larry? Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, because you're Come a on, dick. Larry. Give it a rest, man. <laughs> I feel like you're low key racist. Is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The He's only so thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Go ahead. I am feeding you the fuck I look like. You ain't getting no food out of me. Fuck, fuck I look like, bruh. Hell no. Ugh. 
Now some of these people have gone longer than me without food. Yeah, they we'll be fine. We'll be cool. I think I'm gonna give it to which one call it because <clears throat> I mean Carly does look like she's hungry. But Lily has been she's been uh she's been taking a lot of the heat and it's not her fault, so here. Give her the apple. I don't want anything from you. What? <laughs> I should say fine. Don't eat, bitch. The fuck I look like. Um. Here, just take it anyways, because you're so annoying, bruh. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Why would it change anything? Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Is that like I said anything? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Of course, Carly. You know I got I your back, know. girl. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Of course. I always gotta take care of the kids, bro. You know I got your still, son. I guess some people aren't gonna be happy with your choices. You're uh, yeah. out. What happened to my food? I gave it to your There's daughter. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> my bad. This. And your days in this group are numbered. I get a little heated. He's getting on my nerves. Man. Yeah. Well, I don't see you working on that wall. He's so annoying. I can't stand Let him with the burning me. passion of a thousand suns. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Dang. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Oh, Kenny. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. Yeah. It's been a rough morning. It's been a rough that morning. He brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Yeah. At least he's not our problem anymore. Mm-hmm. What about the other kid? We'll take care of him. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy moly! What the heck? Harry, throw the axe, bro! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. god dang! Oh, you are a piece of poop, man! Hurry up, S. Uh. <laughs> what the heck? Why? <laughs> Why? How do you get it stuck? Damn. I fell on the floor. God dang! Sheesh! You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! That's why you ain't get no apple or jerky. Tell us he was bitten. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It's the air? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. Mm. When I first saw it happen, <clears throat> we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. 
A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... gone. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why is he Why smiling? Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, mm. why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I don't like him. He seems fishy. So this <clears throat> sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Why is the kid here? It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee mm. showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor ends my... Hmm. Well, that place seemed better day. You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just... I don't trust him, so I'm not going to give them any information. Anyway. It's weird. Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Hmm? Shut it down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and all. you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! 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 Oh, oh no! 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 No, no, that is not okay. Come on, let's get Oh my god. That's terrible. That's so bad. 
<clears throat> Here it is. St. John Family Day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Why are they just bringing up my name? It feels weird. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Hmm, that seems fishy. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. They look moldy. Can't get stuff like that anymore. <laughs> Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. We could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Go oh, no. get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be mm -mm. nice to have some folks to help out around Why does it feel Can so weird? Why is she... Help me out in the kitchen? She seems like too fake bubbly. Like, it's the food so and fake. Everyone for the trip over here. <clears throat> and it's very suspicious. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can and he's, like, myself. too friendly for, take like, this. my liking. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. No, Carly, stay. Oh, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got no, food. Mark. And that Fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yeah, let's not be so like gun ho. Like, let's go. Yes, this is this is so nice. Like, no, bitch, no. I don't trust none of these people here. That lady was too bubbly, and they kept addressing me, and I'm like, why? There are so many other people here you're gonna address, hey man, but why are you just addressing me? I'll bet Clementine and Doug would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here.
big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Now we just need to find some rope. Oh. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Hmm. He was very suspicious when I tried to touch the gate. Hmm. It's good, but I need some rope. Let me talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke. At least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I didn't get a chance to check out the barn area yet. I'll do that after helping Andy get the perimeter secured. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Sure thing, Mark. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until 
Everyone's out here. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Looks like he's stuck. Sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Thanks. There's another one. Yeah, because they seem suspicious to me, but none of those options let me to say it's suspicious. So. Ugh, they're stuck. Man, the fence burned right into his hands. I think they fused together. Uh, Man, the fence burned right into I have hands. to cut it off. They fused together. Okay. Uh, uh, nasty. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. I don't know, because they said their Come one on. cow is sick. And if they're using this the cow's milk to make to get dinner, that means we're all going to get sick. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't going to happen. Come on. Little help. Oops. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ooh, I fucking knew it. What the hell? Get to the gate. I fucking knew it. Get down. You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Shit. Uh. Can't lure me to the open. It ain't right. We had a deal. What about all the guys running in? You can't push the tractor. Come on, push it. You fuck with us. Oh now boy. Give us the food! Behind the tractor! 
Why can't you push the tractor, Lee? Push it? Something's still blocking it. Oh, God. Why? Come over here. Fuck you, strong bitches up. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this. Ah, get the oh, shit. You Why are you so far away from the tractor, Mark? You should be over here. Show you to get one of you. Uh, what happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we, we pushed down earlier. Gonna have now to move. Fuck. Trying to lure me to the open. You asshole. Fuck. 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 Get back. Another you one? Think How many of those things did you push down? thing coming after us. out there holy shit are, are you okay uh, bandits here on our property oh uh, my lord what uh, happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out god damn it hurts hey y'all mark oh my god what happened he got shot with an arrow christ are you gonna be okay yeah i'm fine i should just pull it out oh no honey come on brenda's got you come on inside now we'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. They killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Jesus, Lee, say something. Listen, we may have had an agreement with I don't know what to say. Like, ain't no way we're gonna I don't want to say anything that's going to get us all this. dead you know right now. Are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Can I ain't scoping out shit. The fuck? This I ain't sign for this. We can't stay here. Not <clears> safe. <throat> this place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need no, to do they is find have a, a shotgun as well. Stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, you're so annoying. Real charming, Dad. Where's You're so annoying. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. 
Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I don't know. You guys seem suspicious. I don't know how I feel about that. And I gotta go talk to my girl Clementine. I need her to know that if anything goes down that she needs to get the fuck out of here. I ain't trusting nobody. Except Kenny. Kenny can probably take care of Clem, but I just need her to hey, know. Clem, you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You're lucky out there been a lot worse are you going to find the people who hurt mark then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else be careful i want you to stay lucky too Ever thanks clem had good luck so don't worry okay what do you think of the dairy it's pretty it reminds me of how things used to look before yeah it does do you think things will ever get back to how they were i hope so yeah I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. Yeah, because you're my girl, Clem. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah. Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <clears throat> they look happy. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. I don't oh, trust shit. you. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. I'm coming back for you, Clem. Don't worry. I ain't letting nobody, no one, see anything. Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Found it.
see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Hmm. Okay, let me see something. I wanna see. I can never save. But anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, thank you all for tuning in on this episode. Um, we're still on episode two, but I think we're a little bit almost towards the end of it. So we'll pick up from where we left off next time, finish the rest of episode two, and I think we're gonna be on episode three next time. But yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, hope to see you next time. Bye!